You are so focused and behind it. The target is restless and squirming. You got them and they know it. Sagittarius, that's the energy that I have for you. For November 2nd, this is a Saturday. You could be watching it now or later. Is a timeless reading ultimately. And that's the energy I'm about to get into. If you feel like you've been waiting on something or basically setting your aim at something, that you got it. It's right there and it's yours. All right, so let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the glory and the power forever. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you so much for sitting here with me and scooping up some of this energy. But I feel like, yeah, when it comes to this, it could be, you could be a Sagittarius or cross watching for a Sagittarius because I feel like this is, yeah, it's a Sagittarius reading, but I feel like there's a lot of cross watchers here for this energy that you basically just got some fault, something just, something just fell in your lap. Okay. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Okay. The devil's being rebuked. Um, I'm almost saying like it's a lap dancer. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, When ye are passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan. Etiquette, the rules for polite behavior, good manners, chagrin, a feeling of embarrassment because one has failed, deep disappointment. But to the saints that are in the earth and to the excellent in whom is my delight. Moses collected the redemption money from those who exceeded the number redeemed by the Levites. When a man shall take hold of his brother of the house of his father, saying, Thou hast clothing, be thou our ruler, and let us ruin, and let this ruin be under thy hand. So we have ruler coming up twice. We have Satan being rebuked. There's something here about sexual energy. Like when I when I said something is falling in your lap and then Satan was rebuked, it almost felt like a stripper. Well, not necessarily a stripper, but a lap. Someone was giving someone a lap dance. So maybe what's falling in your lap is evidence against someone, possibly them being seductive or trying to seduce you in some way. Like whatever you got, it's, it could be different for everyone. But I just feel like Something is coming to you way too easy to some extent. And then all this them squirming energy. Yeah, like it definitely feels like something sexual for some people. So I'll just go with that. But originally I did feel like it was someone had a goal in mind. Or maybe you're going to be suing somebody for some people. Um... Or it could be something that a stripper did or some scandalous woman. You have the world here. So let's just get some more for this energy. Seven of grains. Parable of the sower. Someone planting a seed. It's just really difficult to notice sexual energy and then try to pull back from it. Because that type of energy will really suck you in. So seven of grains, king of candles, and then ace of grains here in reverse. I feel like this world has something to do with whatever you planted. It's something you spent a lot of time thinking about. But I feel like so much more is going to come out of it than just a simple crop. 
Like these could be followers, disciples, people who genuinely take up your cause and feel with you. For some of y'all who are not in this position yet, it could be doppelgangers. Like maybe you're not ready for that. You're not ready to have supporters. You might consider them to be doppelgangers or copycats or etc. But I feel like these are people who genuinely take up your calls. Or some for some of y'all, it could be a tear. Like there's going to be a lot of uh, people who are just pretending to follow you. That's coming with this crop. But that's the overall vibe here. Bye-bye. Self-discipline is coming out. Considerate is coming out. Take your time definitely when it comes to planting the seed because you're going to get that crop that you planted. You're going to be the one that's um, harvesting your own crop. Nobody's going to take this away from you. Upright. Yeah, I feel like you're definitely manifesting something that you're going to get to enjoy the spoils of. Almost like even if there are people around you who are copying from you or stealing from you, they're not going to be able to enjoy it the way you enjoy yourself. They can't enjoy you as themselves the way you enjoy you as yourself. But let them have it, whatever this is. I feel like it's definitely nothing to get caught up on. Somebody copying you is like, so what? I mean, unless you got to press charges or... <sighs> unless it's like a copyright thing. You know, in the real business world, it's, it's, it's not a problem in the spirit world. It's a problem in the biz world. It's not a problem in the spirit world. Whiny. I'm feeling this so heavy right now. This whiny energy. Definitely feeling that. Alright, so let's get into it. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling like is important right now to stay focused on what you genuinely care about. Because that's what's going to be all around you. Even if it's yourself, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Yeah, it's, it is does sound like someone planting a seed like ejaculation, ejaculated into the uh, into the earth, and everything that sprouts up, it looks just like you, masculine or feminine, uh, is what you speak. Your words are like your seed, and what you speak is coming into existence. Like I'm not just making stuff up right now. I mean, technically I am, because that's what manifesting is. When you put thoughts. When you put your thoughts into the universe, you're literally creating. So this could be a co-creating, co-creation. Then you have debts and debtors. So forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God is Christ, as God and Christ forgave you. This is real. Ephesians 4:32. Being able to forgive someone is so much more powerful to some extent, even more powerful than paying back your debt is forgiving your debts because your debts will be forgiven we have fear not little flock for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom you are an inheritance you have an inheritance from god you are a child of god and so you inherit the kingdom the inheriting the, the kingdom jesus told us it comes with a lot of work it comes with a lot of work uh that's what I feel like, because at some point they say the, the devil sold the seed, but God's people are harvesting the seed. And some people think of God as the devil if they're mad at their dad about something. But your dad planted these seeds, and so you're going to harvest the seed. Um, you're going to harvest these blessings. But it comes with a lot of work because people are jealous of you. They feel like it's unfair that you get all of this land. That you get all of these possessions, all of this power, whatever the case is, that you're inheriting spiritually or physically. Because we did mention business. Like this could be a literal uh, business that you're inheriting. It says it is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. So receive your blessings 
in spite of the work that comes with it because the work that you're doing is 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 basically evidence that you deserve what you have because people are going to come up to you and say you don't deserve it these jealous entities they don't feel like you deserve it basically whatever you set your eyes on you deserve i'm, I'm not saying that to every old schizophrenic that wants to believe is for them but genuinely if you set a desire out to have something the universe is putting the pieces together to make sure that you get what you want again i'm not justifying taking something that doesn't belong to you what actually belongs to you follow me and i will make you fishers of men here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish but how far will they go among so many men something about fishing men and also i'm not sure if it's in the bible or if this is just a saying among an old wives tell or something that yeah this is the bible it says a man's eyes are never satisfied so it's there's something here about what you have to offer can be stretched even if that's the truth did we start off with this being sexual but then it's like, you know, the, 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 the loaves and the barley, they were stretched for over 5,000 people. He did this twice because I saw 5,000 and 4,000. Don't get depressed about this. You know, some things are sexual. It's not the end of the world. But it is, it, it does come off as a bit devilish. This could be the devil has sold some things and you're harvesting. I don't know. Just stick it out through these and then we started with it being a stripper so okay if this is an energy that's resonating with you i'm not going to be shy about it it's, it's nothing to be ashamed of <clears throat> through these he has given us his very great and precious promises so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires like that's literally what it feels like i'm i'm i don't mean to offend anybody but it really does feel like grimy grimy energy because once you start talking about sex people can really glue their mind to that and they don't hear nothing else it's like well how do you bring it back to the word and god and the light because once it starts going just like the hidden meaning is sex they just want to run with it. That's why I'm like, I really don't condone you taking something that doesn't belong to you. If you um, just to be a responsible reader. Sounds like a R.A.P.I.ist. Then you have five of hearts here. That's five of cups. It's like somebody doing something they they uh, they feel ashamed of. It says, I am hell. Oh, you can't. So you can't see this. Yeah, there's something dark about this. Look, that's what that's what being intuitive is about. When you see something that's off, like stick into your intuition and don't let in, don't let anybody try to trick you. Because this this is a this is an old game where someone tries to make God out to be the devil, and it's like, oh no, it was it was the devil all along. We're just gonna worship Satan now, and they try to trap you into this Satanistic ritual does has something to do with sex i know somebody has been through this they try to trick they try to trap you into saying oh worshiping god is actually giving your body <clears throat> but that was avoided very easily because they try to trap you and send you to hell Something going on with this King of Candles. Every time King of Wands pops up, is like an over-sexualized energy. And then you've got this whole crowd of people here, a crowd of men, disciples, fishers of men. I don't know if you heard of the website Plenty of Fish, but that's what I'm getting from it. Like, maybe it's some online activity, a multiple crowd of people watching you or... Someone trying to run a train on somebody. Do you have five of fire here? Conflicts, annoyance, uh, competition, 
pause, perspective, and selflessness, awakening. So this is coming up. You're awakening. Maybe the realization that you might not be in a safe situation. This is not what I expected coming into this reading. And Sagittarius, I really expected this to be about you setting your eyes on prosperity. But I guess like with the energy of just being someone who's chasing after someone, it does feel predatorial. It definitely feels predatorial. So I'm just gonna keep Ooh, got the hiccups now. I'm just I'm just gonna keep going. Let's clarify upright. You gotta be real careful about this. Let's see. Upright. This is Night of Fire. Okay, these hiccups want to stay. It's confident, passionate, av adventurous. Hold up. <clears throat> yeah. Fire coming out twice. I don't know. We need to swing this energy back around because it's like it's really dark. The energy is dark. It's getting dark. It's dark outside. Like we need to spin this back around. Cause I'm not reading for no devilish energy. That's the way it's coming off. Yeah, people got their headlights on now. It's definitely getting dark. So let's see. This is just so fun, though, overall. And that's what I'm getting from this confident. Like, someone had fun. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was an or or orgy. I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't judge. Like, um, maybe it could have been something like that. Confess coming to you or there's a confession being made right now. Whether it's you or somebody you're involved with, or maybe this is something you're into, unveiling, coming clean. That's what this awakening is, is about. That maybe things things are sexual. I, I can't really get away from this. Karmic ties. There's a karmic tie here that someone wants to possibly break up with you. Okay, then you have two of wands. Or maybe they found out about something that happened in the past or... Maybe there's someone you're in a relationship with that said they want to do something with you and you're kind of backing out of the situation now or you're going through with it. 